now uh, international uh, internationally acclaimed music producer and DJ Black Coffee on the hit song Any Other Way, which was included in his Music is King album. His latest release, Jacaranda, is a beautiful love song that will transport you to a magical place featuring the sensational vocalist Msaki. The Imali hitmaker joins us this morning to share more on his new offering. Good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank you. Thank Talk you to us much. about the uh, musical journey. When did it all start for you? I think uh, for me, it's... Uh, it goes like way way back i grew up with my grandmother back in uh in the eastern cape in Amagwe. Mm. Uh, she writes choral music so growing up uh, i was very involved in uh, choral music i was in the uh, school choir mm -hmm. so i think it began there but dance music in particular was when i moved to johannesburg uh, when i uh, started high school in highlands north uh, that's when i was fully exposed to djing and and, and, and dance music, yeah. Mm -hmm. But why production then? What drew you to that side of music? So, uh, I started as a DJ. Mm. What drew me to production was not being able to perform anywhere, not having uh, exposure or access to any platforms to DJ. So I, uh, I just happened to, um, to, to, to be exposed to this uh, production software. And I was like, okay, let me try this out. And it was more of a calling because I, I was, I didn't have intentions to make music. Yeah. So I just got into it and uh, I fall for it. Yeah. yeah. Speak to us about how you ended up working out, working with uh, Black Coffee. How did that come about? Um, the beauty of internet. Yeah. So amazing. He was in Spain at that time, so uh, there was a song I was working on, uh, what, which I wanted to license with him. So we sent it to his team. Uh, so like a couple of days later. Uh, he, got, uh, he called me, he's like he's working on a project, he'd like to uh, collaborate and that time I've never met him like in person. Yeah. So yeah, I was like, yo, that's life changing. <laughs> yeah. So we worked on the song and, um, and then how we met was uh, two weeks later when we're shooting the video mm. yeah and what kind of person was he when you met him because i imagine you you know you imagine what this person is going to be like yeah. and then will you actually meet that person it was it was he was, he was very humble all right that i can say because for me i was still very starstruck but i think <laughs> his humbleness made me to be very calm because mm. was like yo yeah man um thank he was more like thank you for doing this with me yeah yeah talk to us about then the zex bantwini involvement as well because i imagine then you know it's the next day so like during lockdown um i met zex before lockdown mm. during lockdown uh, we, we fly down the second lockdown phase of lockdown which is 2021 we fly down to his house in durban mm -hmm. so we working on music the first song that we, I think we started, uh, the first big song that is well known, we worked on was Osama. Okay. So fast forward to like June, we're doing this song, um, which is now Imali. Okay. So I'm working on this beat, Zex is around, started working, he comes through, and it was just a whole vibe. The energy was like, me and Zex have a whole like beautiful energy together. Okay. We work on so much songs together. And that song was done in an hour. Right. Yeah. And why is that so important to have that energy with somebody? You know, so many people can be produced, so many people can sing. I, I think the energy thing is very important because it, 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 determines, it determines how you're going to have, how you're going to do the song. Mm. And for me personally, uh, it's something that I think speaks for my collaborations. Mm -hmm. Before I worked with um, Saki, I first uh, um, spent some time with her. Mm -hmm. Before I worked with Simi, I started to spend some time with her, just getting to know the person she is, yeah. her getting to know the person I am. Yeah. yeah. What was that like, though, uh, getting to know a person like Umsaki, for instance, yeah. and Simi? So, Umsaki, my, pro my collaboration with her was very intentional. Mm -hmm. Everyone thinks I'm from Devon. Yeah. And I, I just wanted to... Not to say in every interview, hey, I'm from Eastern Cape. Yeah. <laughs> but just to have uh, songs that are in Isikosa. Mm -hmm. So with her, it was amazing because I got to learn that she's also from the same town in the Eastern Cape yeah. as I'm from. And in the Eastern Cape, there's a, I mean, not in the Eastern Cape, mm. in mm. there's a, there's a, there's a place called Echakaranda. Right. Which is what inspired the song. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, 
being with her, telling uh, her, telling her stories about Ingrama, okay, me telling her stories, inspired the song we did. Yeah, the spot in there, um, in that space that is growing so fast. Um, like I'm very into different genres of of music, mm -hmm. so uh, I listen to everything, and I just happened to be doing uh, house. And I was introduced to these other different types of uh, uh, house genres, okay. which are big in Europe specifically. Mm. And uh, how I got involved is I wanted to not to sound like Europeans, but like to combine what uh, us Africans are doing mm -hmm. with what they're doing and, and create a new genre, which is Afrotech. Yeah. Yeah. Talk to us about your record label. I believe you have your own record company. I do. Mm -hmm. um, I'm currently launching it with this debut album. It's called We Live For Our Music. Mm. Yeah. Talk to us about that. What is the significance of that name? So We Live For Our Music, uh, I believe I live for my music. Yeah. I'm, very, I'm, I'm a very passionate person with music. And I think going with that name is, is, is it, it's just, so why we, not I? Mm -hmm. I believe in collaborating and I make music with different people. Uh, individuals so it's just just to say that this is my label but it's not just about me yeah this is a label about me what i make but also everyone else that i'm going to be collaborating with yeah because music is just beautiful when you do it with other people yeah, yeah. all right tell us about the two songs you're going to perform for us um so the first song is um Ganoami, which i did with see me very amazing songwriter i'm a huge fan uh we we did the song last year uh it's such a beautiful full good song it's a soulful song but also touches on electronic uh, music so uh, we will take you in a journey of soulful like feel good mm -hmm. but also take you straight to where i play most in europe yeah the big stages huge space stadiums type of songs yeah all right thank you so much uh good luck uh, going forward uh that was our second music guest uh we just spoke to afrotech dj and producer and he's been talking to us about his latest release it's called uh jacaranda featuring and uh, msaki